Well, good morning everyone from here in Orlando, Florida. So I am back with a little bit of an update on Hurricane Milton, the situation over here, and also preparing for the hurricane. So uh, we have uh, switched villas. So where I filmed yesterday, we have now left that one and switched to a different villa. We were meant to be going to Daytona. That's not happened. And uh, thankfully, uh, Swanky Vacay, very last minute, managed to get us in this villa for a couple of nights, which is absolutely amazing. So we've got one of the team from Swanky on the way over. Uh, she's going around all of the homes, preparing them for the hurricane. So when she gets to us, I said it'd be great if we can have a little chat, show exactly what you do to prepare the homes ready for the hurricane, just to show you all uh, how it all happens, what goes on. Uh, it has dropped down at the moment to about a hurricane category four, but they do think it's just forming a new eye wall and it will go back up to a category five again. Uh, so a lot of people are preparing, a lot of people are getting quite worried. We did see the guys yesterday slicing all the billboards up on the side of the highway so the wind can blow through them. We saw the lights getting lowered on the side of the highway as well, the big main lights so they can't blow away. And then we'll see how they prepare the villas as well. So if you are a homeowner, it might be interesting for you. And if you are uh, just genuinely interested in how it all goes on, what happens over here. We did fuel up the car at Walmart yesterday. That wasn't too bad. Quite a few people filling up the jerry cans. Uh, we popped into Publix later on in the evening as well to get some last uh, supplies and water. Water was quite low, but they did still have some, which was good. It wasn't completely all out. There was still packs of the cheap water, uh, which was good. Uh, so not too much sort of panic buying going on. Everyone being quite sensible from what I could see. There wasn't, you know, people going out with carts full of water. It was like one pack, everyone being quite nice and sensible. So yeah, once uh, Millie gets here from Swanky VK, we'll uh, jump back in and show you how we're going to prepare this villa uh, for the storm. It's going to be hitting tomorrow, Wednesday. So it looks like tomorrow is when the, th the parks might close and we might be uh, stuck in a little bit. But what a great place to be stuck in. It's a gorgeous villa. We've got a games room, two living rooms. So... It's not a bad place to be uh, stuck. It could be much, much worse. So as long as everyone stays safe, that is the main thing. They can always rebuild all these homes. They can always rebuild the businesses and stuff, but they obviously can't uh, rebuild your life. So as long as everyone stays safe. Right, well, let's uh, jump back in. Once Millie's here in about 15 minutes, we'll let uh, jump back in and show you exactly how we're going to prepare this home for the winds, the rain. It's mainly the winds we're going to get here in, in central Florida, Orlando. It's going to be the winds is going to be the most... Uh, sort of dangerous the most destructive that could bring down the power lines so that could mean no power as well so this is the latest updates on the tv they are still tracking it so we'll see exactly what it's up to it's on us your prep. We have a medium confidence on our overall impacts. Tomorrow morning, any last second stuff you need to do, but after that, it's getting into storm mode. Okay, everyone, so the lovely uh, lady has arrived from Swanky VK. Now, let me just show you what has arrived. So, we've got two sandbags uh, for the front, three out the back that we can move around, either front or back, just in case of any flooding. So we've got sandbags dropped off. Uh, she just gone through and checked that the flashlight and everything is uh, all okay. And some of the little checks that we've got everything. Now, how amazing is this? They have just dropped off all of this amazing food, like an emergency pack. Now you can request this if you're staying with Swanky Vacay in any of their homes, you can request this during hurricane season and they will bring round any emergency goods for you so you don't even have to leave. So absolutely amazing. We've had all kinds dropped off. We've got Cheerios, I have to unpack all this in a minute. There is so much stuff in here, which is just amazing from them. So really, really well looked after. So you can have all of this done and delivered during hurricane season. I think you could, you can do various different special requests with Swanky, which is a really, really good feature. So that 
it's just amazing i'm mind blown with that there's all kinds in here that they've dropped off for us which is super kind and then we've got more sandbags out here okay Hiya. how's it going good all good, good. So what are we doing now then? So we've got the well, sandbags just here moving, just for the door. We're just removing all the furniture from um, the Hyde One area uh, just to make sure we keep it more safe and nothing's flying around for you guys. So we're keeping moving everything to under the lanai here, including the sunbeds and everything. So nothing can blow around, fly around. We'll move this net as well, bring that in. So anything loose, we'll make sure it's all protected under here. We'll keep this little fence up as well. There's a bit of extra protection from the wind. And then if the rain does get really bad, we've got the sandbags there as well. It's really, really well prepped, very well organized. Well, thank you so much to Millie for popping around, checking on everything, setting everything up. How many more homes have you got to do today? Four. Four, Four. more. And how many did you do yesterday? Twelve. Twelve, wow. Twelve homes set yesterday, four left today. Yes and uh you'll be ready for a bit of a rest while the, st while the storm's on at least you can have a bit oh, of a sure. bit of a rest and a break for you've sure. had a long day 14 hours was it you did yesterday mm -hmm. that is correct wow working really hard, hard just to get prepared for this hurricane. yeah so are you worried nervous no You're not at all quite I've used been to it 13 years and the most that can happen is we can lose power lose power that's the main worry isn't it yeah so we've got everything set if we do if you do get any big rains or anything, we've got the sandbags there. Brilliant, made up with that. I do feel much more uh, comfortable and sort of safe and stuff, especially with all these extra goodies. Got to unpack all this. We've even got baked beans and everything there. Awesome, so kind of them. So we're pretty set. We'll move the sandbags out a little bit later on when it starts raining. Everything's all secure outside. Everything's all locked up. We've got flashlights. We've got plenty of stuff if it does uh, lose power, a lot of um, non-perishables. The other trick that I've seen that we're going to be doing is putting some of the, uh, Dad's already done it, is putting some bottles of water in the freezer. So if the power does go out, you can move those frozen bottles into the fridge, keep stuff colder in the fridge for lo longer, and then you just drink the water as it defrosts. So I'm probably going to move some more of these bottles of water into the freezer just to make sure we've got plenty. So as they say with the hurricanes, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. So we put some extra ones in, get some more stuff in here. No. Right, do two more. And then I feel pretty safe. The only other thing we've done is to make sure that all of our battery packs are fully charged up so again if we lose power we can charge our phones and everything oh wow perfect in here we're going to unpack all this in a minute we've got extra batteries and everything that's amazing thank you very much of course. what was it like in the supermarket hectic well, no water no gas wow no gas so we thankfully we filled up yesterday with the gas but right. none left at the pumps M most of the gas stations do not have gas wow Wow, so it changed very quickly because yesterday seems a little bit calm and you could get gas and everything now. Month, crazy. Well, you make sure you look after yourself as well. For sure. Definitely. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me know if you guys need anything, okay? I will do. Thank you. Right, so Laura's just joined us to help unpack this amazing pack that they've given us of like emergency goodies and stuff. I cannot thank, Millie is absolutely amazing. They've got a diamond employee there, she's incredible. Mum left her makeup in the last villa and she was like, you chill, relax, go do your thing. I'll pick up the makeup and bring wow, it to you. Amazing. Service is amazing. So Millie, absolutely, thank you so much. Uh, right, so we've got some Cheerios. We've got plenty of like fresh fruit. You'll pick through some of them, won't you, Laura? Yeah. Some of those fruits. Those blueberries look amazing. We've got some, uh, Tomatoes there, Dad will eat them like yeah. they're grapes. We've got Nature Valley, they're great for the parks, them full of energy. Uh, English muffins, get some bacon on them. Yeah. We've got some whole grain bread, bit of salad. That's just amazing, it's water, that's the only water they could get. Thankfully we've got some, but it's always good to have extra. So yeah, so that is the key. As soon as a tornado warning does come out, go and get your bits. Get your stuff, yeah, because today they've run out of fuel. There's no water, there's barely any perishables. So. 
I'm glad we did it yesterday. Yeah, we did it a little bit early. I think people wait till last minute. Ruffles, oh, can't oh. go wrong with some ruffles. Toffee inspired trail mix there from the UK. Oh. Even in the little gift bags, amazing. What else have we got in here? It's like Christmas morning. Oh my God. So we've got Bin bags. Uh, plenty of trash bags. Plenty of batteries. Batteries if you want out of anything. For the torch. Sanitizer, we've got wipes. So if we can't have a shower, if it's cold, we've got nice wipes there we can wipe ourselves down with. Disinfectant wipes. Keep everything nice and clean. Us. It's yeah. nice, yeah. If you can't clean up, you can use the wipes. Yeah. And then we've got loads of tinned goods here. Wow. So, uh, ooh, broccoli cheese. Oh, there you go. Some soups and all well prepared. Dad, you feel a bit more comfortable now? Now we've had all this stuff delivered and feel very well looked after. Wow. Lentil soup, everything we need. So the power could go out for three days. So we've got everything there that we could possibly need. But, well, to be fair, we didn't buy tins or anything, did we? Nope. So they've looked after us there. Because if it does go out, we've got loads of tin goods. We've got the sandbags. So we've oh. got sandbags outside. If anything uh, does come in sandbag wise, uh, just there, you've got wow. the sandbags. So what I want to do is just move these down. Yeah. With so if these. you put that down on floor level, no, that could blow off. No, that's going in. Yeah, put that inside. That's dead lightweight and, and can blow around. And the pillows on the chairs, I want them bringing in because yeah. they'll blow We'll bring them in, Laura. Away. And Not we'll that put this a little anywhere. bit flatter. Lay this down yeah. somewhere. Down here. Lay that down. Oh, the weather's gorgeous today, though. Yeah, it's a bit nicer with the blue sky. We're going to go and enjoy Universal now. You've got yeah. a Universal top on. Yeah, nice. I'm, all ready. Yeah. I'm all ready to go to Universal. Last little day. Fun. So yeah, we've got the sandbags. We put them by the door ready, can't we? Yeah. That's all laid low. Might move these down as yeah. well. It's a floor level. These little things, they blow off, make a big bang and give you a fright. And so you don't want it to smash either. So we'll put them down on the floor. So I feel quite set, nothing out here now. These are very sturdy. Gives us a bit of extra protection. So yeah, if you, if, if you haven't got a management company like this who are right on it can't fault swanky absolutely amazing and um, you can do all this yourself as well protect yourselves so you can make sure you bring all this stuff in if you do get any storms on the way just you know look after the owners put the stuff you know away i think we might move that a little bit to move that closer to move. not close to the glass actually closer to there a little bit or closer to this way closer to that wall closer to this way a little bit so moving the sand ready to buy the door Sandbags are up there, just in case. And then we're going to move that closer to there, out of the out of the wind area. Bit of a tunnel, this, so we'll move that against the wall. Okay, so we've tucked that in close against the wall. It's nowhere near the glass doors, so it can't get smashed. And then we've got the sandbags there, ready to move across to the doorway. Right, so I feel pretty safe now. Feel yeah. pretty protected. Made up with that. The delivery of stuff. Mum's just packing it all away there. Loads, isn't there? Loads of goodies. They've thought of everything as well. Look at that. Wipes if you can't shower and everything. So we're well stocked. Yeah, and even if we don't eat all this in the few days, we've got two weeks to eat all this. Two weeks to get through it all. So oh. massive thank you to them. Even English tea bags. Look at that. They thought of everything. And I think she must have known I have coffee, mate. Yeah, because you love coffee, mate, and there's a big jar of it. So that's good for storms, that, if you can't have milk, obviously. But mum loves coffee, mate, with her milk anyway, with her coffee. So I think we're fully prepped. The only thing I want to do is just check all my battery packs are on charge. Yeah. So if you've got phones or anything, make sure they're charged up. Make sure you're all set. Phones, battery packs. Everything. Tablets. And one of your subscribers has done on Etsy as well, because she has a home in Rimetta. Okay. Um, in celebration. She suggested fill the bath with water, so you've got water to flush your toilet if the water goes off. Ah, uh -huh, okay, it's yeah, a handy I one. Yeah, I've seen it today on TikTok. The other one I've done as well, I've seen loads of great tips around, is to put your bottles of water in the freezer, which I've already done. So if the, free, if the fridge freezer does go off with the power, you move your water over, keeps the fridge colder for longer, and you've got cold water. So probably put a few more waters yeah, in the I freezer, would, yeah, I think, yeah. just to make sure. Right, I'm feeling pretty set and safe now. Okay, so here's my battery packs. They uh, should be all pretty charged up. Just got the last one on charge now, 60%. Getting everything all charged. 
ready. So good job, I brought battery packs. I bring these because I film a lot, but in situations like this, perfect. I mean, this one is massive. This cost me 70 quid, but it's the biggest fast charging one you can get. I've got another one on the other side of the bed, just there. Need to make the bed in a second. So we've got the other one here. So we've got a fuel rod that's charged and we've got this other big battery pack charging as well. So two massive ones. This is enough to charge your phone, I think three times. The fast charging one can charge a phone twice or three times. I've got another one. So there's plenty of battery packs. Always handy to have these when you're traveling. Okay, everyone. So I think that is us all set, hopefully for Hurricane Milton. We will see how we get on. We will, of course, be vlogging uh, all day. We do a vlog every single day here anyway, so I will, so to speak, um, film our experience of it. I hope everyone does stay safe. The main thing that I mentioned uh, earlier is you can always rebuild all these homes, you can rebuild the businesses, but you can't obviously bring back a life. So as long as everyone stays safe and the loss of life is low, uh, that is the, obviously the main thing. Hopefully no one loses their lives, but with a storm like this, there's a lot of people refuse to leave their homes and things for various reasons. It must be so, so hard if you've got a farm or animals and dogs and cats and things like that. It must be very, very scary for a lot of people. So I am praying for the people down on the coast, uh, Tampa, all of those beautiful areas that we visited before, clear water, one of our favorites. So uh, absolutely playing for them and, and hopefully it does reduce in power. It's down to a four and I saw that and I thought, oh, it's dropping down a bit. It does look like it's gonna go back up to a five. So uh, do stay safe, everyone out there. If you're here in Orlando, look after yourselves, get your stuff, get your emergency bits and uh, look after yourselves. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything crazy and uh, just hunker down, look after yourselves, have a chill day. And hopefully we can be back out having fun in a few days and the, the effect is minimal. But yeah, I will be filming our experience of it. Hopefully trying to keep the home protected as well. If there's anything we can do or we spot anything is, is blowing around or moving around, we will, you know, try and protect the home for the owner as much as we can. You know, keep a track of things. If there's loads of water coming in, we'll get the pool towels down and stuff. But yeah, fingers crossed, everything is all okay. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Do hit the subscribe. There's plenty of vlogs coming up in general for Florida and we will keep you up to date on the Milton situation. First ever hurricane for us over here and it looks like it is gonna be a big one. It's potentially gonna break a lot of records. It could potentially be the biggest hurricane that Orlando has ever, ever had. So we're, 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 we're playing with nature. We don't know what's gonna happen, but fingers crossed, praying for everyone out there. Do look after yourselves and stay safe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back again, uh, possibly with another vlog tomorrow. Um, or if any big updates or anything comes up that I can help you with. But this does show you how you can prepare. If you're coming to Florida from uh, June, anyway, anywhere through to November, that is hurricane season. So you could face one of these at any point in your holiday. So bear that in mind. You will now know sort of how to prepare, how things work, what you should be keeping an eye on and what you should be doing. Keeping track of the weather channel is always very important because it drops up, down, various areas. I didn't realize how much of a warning Daytona was getting. Uh, they are getting a big warning to get out, so I'm really glad we didn't go up there. Um, they would, I think they would have turned us around and sent us away. Again, worry about the storm surge and everything, so fingers crossed that beach condo does stay safe as well. I'd love to visit that on another trip, but yeah. It's, uh, it's worrying, got to keep an eye on the news, keep an eye on the, uh, the, the phones keep going off with the emergency alarms, which is a, if you know that alarm, the emergency alarm system on the phones, it's a horrible sound, it's a horrible alarm, and it went off in the middle of the night for us, it was, it was horrible. Um, it started going off, I think it was about three in the morning, and uh, it's quite scary to wake up to, it's not a nice alarm that. So they keep going off, and it just keeps putting a reminder in your brain of, you know, there is a big serious situation on the way. So uh, praying for everyone, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on 